Hello, this is Beta Ray Ben for Pixel Spank. Today I'm playing the Page Master. Look at this screen that doesn't fit on the screen. This splash screen. The the bit the, the bit at the bottom's cut off. This is this is how it's. I ha this isn't caused by me or some fault of mine. That's just they. I don't know. They could they didn't, didn't want to stretch the image. They didn't want to shrink it down. Anyway, anyway, what I just skipped over was the fact that there was a. An SNES remake of the, the Fox audio there. That was fantastic. And now this, right. No real options here. So, before we begin, I just want to clarify. I've seen the Page Master. I would hazard a guess at... Between two and three times. I reckon I've, I've definitely seen it all the way through at least once. And prob probably three times total. Maybe like two and a half. All I can remember about that film is the following. He bikes to a library. Cartoon. When he leaves the library, he goes over a ramp and does a sick jump. No, no, I don't want to see any of I don't want to see this. I don't want to see the gameplay. So my my knowledge of, of the Game Master is limited. The Page Master is limited. However, through sheer coincidence, and completely unplanned, about two weeks ago, I read the entire Wikipedia page of the Page Master. I don't know why I would, I don't know what prompted it. There was something. I think genuinely, I was going to make a Page Master joke in some aspect of my life. Either another video, or the description of a video, or something. I don't know. Something about the Page Master. Maybe it was a D and D thing. I, I'm not sure. Anyway, let's let's start. None of that was useful. Horror world. All right, really throwing you in there at, at the harsh ones. All right, this is the map screen. I f I genuinely thought this was gameplay, and I was like, well, this is some this is some avant garde shit here. The torture chamber. That sounds fun, doesn't it? Get ready for the torture chamber. Okay. Alright, so you can jump pretty high, but there's a hell of a landing animation. Oh, it's only if he doesn't move. Ooh. He's quite floaty movement. There's a bit of a... There's a little bit of acceleration, deceleration there. Um, and none of the other buttons appear to do anything. Ah! Oh, I've got magic shoes. Okay. I like it. I like it so far. Oh, right. Magic shoes are gone. I think they ran away. Maybe that was in the film. I don't recall. Uh, Hey, wake up. Oh. Oh, shit. I picked that up by just pushing down. So, oh. That looks like the sleeping like book. The whole thing of the page master... Was that books were alive? I don't know. I was... gained courage. Something about a magic library. Was was he the page master? Ah, oh, that's a that's a great look. When you look out the window there, you can see the exit sign. The whole film was about him trying to get to the exit, and also courage. Oh, I have got my shoes back. Yeah, see, my feet sparkle. Alright. Fuck me, I guess. I don't know why they decided that the... <laughs> the mechanic of Yoshi from Super Mario World was what they wanted for the sh for the shoes. Oh. Ah, I don't really know what they do. They seem to slightly enhance your jumps. It is Mario. They give you an extra life is what they do. So well, so actually, it's 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 part Mario, but also a bit kind of Sonic in that respect, right? So there's two bats here. Oh, hang on this chain. All right, I know what to do now. Um, I I should point out, I don't know how I hung on the chain. Oh, another power up. It's a bag of... I don't know what... Bouncy balls, I guess? 
I do really like the fact that he's he just he's straight up carrying them. But I've got a weapon now. Marbles. I think they're marbles. That's error appropriate. If. All right. So suddenly, th this game has become more of a game and is intriguing. And the fact that they're infinite is a, a great joy to me. Right, so can I just annihilate my my problems? I can. I bet I can't do this one though. All right. That's what did me in before. Ooh. Uh, see, that's a bag of marbles. I don't know what, if having two of them does anything. You shouldn't backtrack. Backtracking is a bad idea for the sole reason that enemies completely respawn. Ooh. Um. No. I don't know what that is. Uh, no, I don't know what that is. Is this going to move? Feels like it will move. Yeah. I'm not sure why I'm collecting keys. I reckon that thing from before is if, if you don't have shoes, it just gives you shoes. I'm also wondering, what will happen if I take damage again? Will I lose everything I have, or just like some of the stuff? What's this? Oh, I've got green. I've got grip on my shoes. Oh no, I haven't. I'm still skidding a bit. I don't know what that does. There's no way of knowing. It just, I've definitely green tinted my shoes. There is an element of snot to it. So far, this is actually a, a good game. Like, I don't know how many kids out there were like huge fans of the Page Master, but if you were, it's a good one. Thinking about it now, <gasps> that's what it lets you do. It's sti I've got sticky hands. <laughs> I, can st I can stick to ceilings. Well, this is crazy. Can I wall jump? I can wall jump. I don't know how long I've had this ability for. Jesus Christ. I lost my bag of marbles. That's the worst one to lose. Library pass. I got a library card. Seven more to get. Get ready for the torture chamber. Alright, it does... I don't know what that enemy is. It's quite hideous. Right, respawn the keys. There's a bag of marbles up here. If I can get that, I'll be I'll be back to my lethal self. But that pumpkin will respawn forever. All right, we're good. I should be holding down this marble button at all times. They're limitless. You can only have two on screen at a time. Eh, fuck you. Look at this. Look at this real game mechanic. Oh, I found. I think that's the fantasy book. I'm, get, I'm gonna guess. Oh, this this is like uh, this is this is strongly reminding me of um, of Sonic, the bonus levels in that. I'm out of fairy dust. That was very hard to control. The t the turning right and left seemed to be at random. I could go up and down, I think. Oh, that's the exit. All right, fuck it, let's go. I'm gonna lose all my power ups, aren't I? That's, that seems like a given at this point. So we got this. The Home Alone game. That was a great... Ish. That was, I liked it. I don't think it was a great game. I had fondness for it. Was there a... I don't think Uncle Buck had a game. I bet Richie Rich had a game though. I'm, try, I'm trying to think of games where you essentially play as Child Star Macaulay Culkin. A Ghost of a Chance or That's the Spirit. Those are both good pun names. I'm going to go with That's the Spirit, though. Get ready for That's the Spirit. Oh. I, I've, I should, I've got all my power up still. Game changer. Fuck you. I feel like... I mean, they, they can't... 
there can be more power-ups in this, but they, like I, I, my instinct of this sort of tie-in game is that they shot their wad early, but I, m I might be wrong. It's actually quite exciting. A bit like uh, the excitement in Altered Beast. All right. I didn't mean to do that, but it actually worked out well. Thinking about it, there's no point killing an enemy unless it is really in your way, because they don't... They, they respawn, and you don't get anything for it. So I still don't know what this is, do we? Do I? I reckon it's a checkpoint. Is it a candle? I, I, I genuinely can't figure out what it's even supposed to be. Oh, shit. Alright, fortunately I, I had an amount of uh, invulnerability there, but I'm... Shit. Shit, my glue hands. For some reason I'm, I'm fucking failing to do this wall jump. It's not that hard to do. Shit. Shit, my shoes are gone. Alright. That went badly for me, I, lo I lost it all. Come back, shoes. Alright. Let's keep going this way. There's a madman. Jacqueline Hyde. I think that was a factor. I don't know what the deal is here. Ah, I bet if I bring him to that thing, maybe it does something? No, that's too hard. I'd have to take it, like, miles. Alright. This platforming just got a little bit trickier. I actually have to, you know, do the game now. That strange mechanic that, that games where you lose power-ups like this have, where the game is harder when you're bad at it. Um, can I wall jump still? No. That was to be expected. So the, the shoes give you wall jump. Ah, oh, yes, my attack. Brilliant. Okay, fine. Yep. Dive in. I've respected the difficulty so far of this game as well. Because I've died once. And that's why I didn't really know the mechanics. I, I seem to have my magic... Oh no. I thought I had my magic shoes, but I don't. Where? where are we in the woods? Am I going to fight a well? <gasps> this is like in Donkey Kong Country. What, what this game so far is, is just like some good parts of a bunch of other platformers, but I'm kind of alright with it, because like it, it, it's doing them fine. It's not doing them badly. Not a huge bonus there, was it? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm, I'm always ready. Alright, so there, so I can't I can't get through there. I, I quite like, there's no time limit, and it's, um, it's non-linear levels, but it, it, it seems to be like a minimum of nonsense in there, so I can't get up there. Oh. These feel new, I don't recall these books. Alright, I thought for a while if you did that animation when you were falling, you'd take damage. I still don't know what his deal is. Is it a weapon? It's kind of a thing to carry it though, and I've not yet hit anything with it. Hmm. Okay, that book just sort of died. It's hard to tell if those are even enemies, those books. In fact, because everything is a book, it's, it's hard to tell if it's a good book or a bad book. As there's no, like, logic to it. <gasps> I've just realised you can run. No, you can't. No, what it is, is when you're going up and down, the animation of throwing a marble speeds you up. Doesn't appear to have any gameplay purpose. I'm lost. I'm... I'm also kind of stuck. Oh, you can stand on this. 
Alright, fuck it. I've lost everything. Let's go. Ah, uh, what was his name? Did they have names? I've I don't think they did have names. I think their names were just their genres. Like, he was just called horror. And the other one, fantasy, and so on. Adventure, I think that's the other one. Even though it was actually a pirate. I've been here before. Because I specifically remember saying I actually had to do real platforming. It's got some real strength for me to be able to do that. That's not easy. Just frankly... Ah, oh, I died. Just climbing a rope is difficult. Ah, yep, that was a checkpoint. Yep. Beat him anyway. Ah, they give you shoes. Oh, maybe... Maybe yep, no. I bet they they just give you the shoes. Well, that's good, though. I think this is where I fell before and lost it all. Yep. Okay, so... Okay, right, that's fine. Oh, it was, it was the wizard. Alright, I'm gonna... What I'm gonna do here is... I'm gonna use a cheat. I'd, now, I've already looked this cheat up. And for some reason... The, how to do it has never escaped my mind. The code you put in, it, it it's... It's baldy. B, A... Left, shoulder button, down, Y. Uh, or, if I do, do this, B, A, X, select... Start. Oh. B A X select start. Uh, well, X Lord Markeox, your code is bullshit. Let's uh, oh, here we go. Pause the game and press left, up, left, up, start, B, right, A. Well, that didn't work out either. Damn it, it's the same guy. There's passwords, but also there's... Alright. Alright. I'll, what I'll do is, I'll die. That'll get me back to the title screen. Then I can go level level select. Because I, I kind of want to... I want to see more past the horror. Look, it still doesn't fit. Interactive. It says something at the bottom. A unit of Fox Inc. Is what that, in fact, does say. I don't think I've ever played a Fox game before. I, I well, I, I, I feel like I've never seen the Fox that Fox logo at the start of a game. More specifically, right at the title screen, press B A L down Y B A L down Y. Pause and press select to exit level. Right, I'm I'm hoping this has worked as a as a thing. I feel like it will. This one is from Oblivion from AOC. He seems more trustworthy. Okay, all right. Well, I, I'm guessing what actually happened is I just did a code that gives you all the levels. And there are a lot of them. And the inexplicable was that a bonus level? A fistful of horrors. Driving you batty. The haunted house. Looking grave. There is no rhyme nor reason for these names. Some of them are just puns on saying. <coughs> a fistful of horrors. Well, I'm assuming that's based on a fistful of dollars, the film. But maybe that was actually a saying that I'm not aware of. Terror in the Tower. The Living Red. Dread and Gut. There are three worlds he goes to. Horror, adventure, and fantasy. If there's that many in one, how many are in like the rest? I, uh, your password is gold key, gold, gold. A book of some sort and gold. How do you. It's a bastard when they give you a password like that. Because how the hell do you write that down? Oh. Yep. All right. Okay, all right, so you can make horror jump. I can close the book for getting through small spaces. 
I can get I can get down. Looks like we made it. Adventure world. Mm, exciting. Adventure is actually pirates. As you can see. Alright. We gotta get the motifs in the first level, haven't we? Get ready for marine mm. Marmalade? Marmalade? Oh, fuck me. Right, so this guy is based on, I want to say, Treasure Island's Long John Silver. The music's jazzy. I like the fact that they've changed the collectible. Um, I, I don't know what's going on with that guy. Yeah, it's, it's very fetching gold coins now, which makes the password a bit easier to manage. Oh, is that a power-up? Time zone A. Okay. Oh wow, this is like this is legitimate platforming. How much time have I got? This is This is this is quite tricky to do because these it's hard to tell where the platform actually is. Alright. Shit. Music speeding up. Okay. Oh, no. There's more to it. And we died? Or... Bet. Yeah. I Don't make me do that again. No. Oh, I didn't lose a life. That's, that's the main thing. See, this is tricky. This is one of the great issues with a platforming game. Is it, Sometimes they make you just jump into the unknown. And it's like, oh, fuck, fuck you. You shouldn't have done that. It's like, well, I had no choice. I couldn't scroll down. The hell is it? The harpoonist, I get, but that's just a guy wearing a pinhead helmet, I guess. If I still had my sticky things, I could deal with that. I wonder if I can go just walk. Nope. Well, I can do that to get past him. Oh, Christ. Sometimes you have to give up your power ups, you know, just to, just to survive. Oh, no. Hang on. Shit. Shit. I still don't know what that says. Meryl? Mm. Alright, there we go. Get that. Turn turns out the most useful ability to have in this game is the, the fucking marbles. No, what am I doing? Why am I trying to attack? I, so how do I deal with him? Run under him. Got a question mark. What could it mean? Well, fuck that. I I didn't... Well, for one, how could he even see me? That Like, he cheated there. He can see further than I. Two. Well, I guess that's it, really. But, that, that, but it was a pretty big one. I'm trying to place this music. It kind of reminds me of a sped up version of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles theme tune. But that might just be because this entire level reminds me of of that level from the, the great Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game. Uh, Turtles in Time, I want to say it was called. So how do you get past him without attacking him? That's what I want to know. Oh, I bet you, I wonder if I can... I'll put that back. The bombs don't explode. I bet you can pick them up. You can. And then they explode. Is he just not lighting them? They're really hard to actually pick up, though. Oh, it didn't, it didn't do any damage to him. Maybe he's got more health than me. Uh, I'm just going to run over. Oh, wait. No, so that did do him damage jumping on him, but it's trickier than that. You see my incredible reactions there to not get hit by that enemy. Incredible. All right, I'm feeling like up here is, is a positive. Shit. It's so hard jumping on those books. Ah! Another life. That was useless. 
Well, it's not useless, but I... St Remember lives? When was the, what was the last video game you played that had lives to it? I, I genuinely can't think. And thank God for it as well. Although, ironically, I've been playing a lot of roguelike and rogue light games, and, and that's... There's no lives in that. Nautical fun. Pirate ship. High seas. I'm guessing that said hijinks. Jewel be lucky. That's a stretch. The one pi pirate ship. That's neither a pun nor like a, a parody name. That's just that's just pirate ship. Okay. Let's see. I have noticed as well, no new power-ups have appeared, so I, I think in my early assumption that those those three power-ups are all you get is, is accurate. And to be fair, it's, it's, quite, it's quite a good triple. What was that? Oh, I think I'm invincible. It's hard to tell because... It, well, it, it had, my feet were sparkling, but that's the same effect you get when you have the magic shoes that I'm I'm yet to get on this level. I think the strategy of this game is play the first level, get all the power ups, and just quit if you if you lose any of them. Oh, oh, I stand corrected. I got a fucking sword. Yeah. It's not that effective, it would seem. Um, but I've hey, hey, I, I knocked this guy in the barrel before, and he stayed there. He didn't respawn out of the barrel. That's a new one. Thinking about it, the only issue of this game might be that it's a bit samey, given that we're still on a pirate ship, and this is like ten levels deep on the on the adventure theme. And it's, it's not particularly a different pirate ship, I would say. I mean, the enemies are the same. And, yeah, so that... I can see that being an issue. Like, there's there's essentially free, free aesthetics, and you better like them. Although fantasy might be different. Purely on the basis that, that fantasy has the, the greatest scope to be different. Did not plan that. Worked out well. Grab the rope. Ah. Oh. Genuinely, I thought that was a hot woman. Alright, let's try level skip. Pause the game. Left, up, left, up. Start, B, right, A. I, I put the code in wrong. I know I did. Chewing. Given that the game has multiple routes, they don't give you any... Uh, like you, can't, you can't like quit out of level. You, you've got to go until you run out of lives. But there is a continue mechanic, so I wonder how that works. But there's also passwords. Alright. Ah, shit. I reckon if I jump on this fucker, I'll get the height I need to grab that. No, not quite. It's not giving me any fucking shoes. Wait, there was a sword at the end. I bet that's still there. Never mind. Alright. Okay, I've now decided that death is the answer. I will kill myself. As as I'm told to do on a daily basis. That's not true, by the way. I, I, I don't cause enough emotional response in people for that. What do we get? One more? Or? Now, the trouble is... If I end... Oh... You know, I thought on that screen it let you like walk the length of the screen, but it's literally push just push left or right and and we'll handle the rest. Right, do you think it's kept the bit where I've already put the code in? I'll put it in again, it weren't that hard. B A L D Y B A L D Y. It's boldy, isn't it? Uh Uh, right, no, it's the, no, it starts you here anyway. It's the next screen is the the screen of 
injury. So it's already unlocked. That's weird. It's also weird. This game has a password mode in it. So they uh, passwords. Well, it just has passwords in it in general. And they don't use that for like the codes. Normally, they just they just be like a passcode. It's like put this one in, it unlocks everything. Get ready. Oh, I've got a fly there, haven't I? I forgot about that bit. Is this mode seven? I don't know. Oh, is there a graveyard? I thought it was the ocean. I, do I have to get a certain number of keys or? We made it though. I don't know. I, ge I genuinely don't. Such an image that, isn't it? Very Harry Potter actually with the glasses. Alright, so we're just going to walk to the end of Adventure World. I'll just do. I'll have one. dip one toe into uh, fantasy and, and, that, and that'll be it. I do feel like there were less levels in Adventure. Your password is sack, gold coin, and clock. Alright, here we go. Flying over the high seas. Hmm. Size that pirate ship. That is a galleon. It's, it's very strange, this bit. The fact that you can do, you can, I can make him do stuff. Horrors buggered off. And you, uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's just, it's all very odd. One of them was voiced by Christopher Lloyd. I know that. Golden Brick Road. Interesting. Pools of Goo. Don't like that. The Beanstalk. I'm going to go back and do the Beanstalk off the side. Oh, you can change midway. That's... I don't think you could do that in Mario. You were stuck. Right, will there be a beanstalk in this level? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm limber. There is a beanstalk. Um, which makes me think that therefore this is the most diverse. However, I'm I'm still collecting the, the same thing from before. And this guy's still here. Why is he here? Okay, I've got a new attack though. This this looks kind of similar, but I, I think it's magic is what it's supposed to be. I don't know if that was gonna fuck off or not. I actually really like the uh, the effect they've done for his fireball. It looks really cool. It's so annoying how high those bastards go. Oh, good, that was the end of the level. Weirdly short. Weirdly, weirdly short. Maybe there were other options of places to go. Alright, I'll do one more now, because I'm pretty sure there's going to be like differences to these levels. Uh, Dragon's Spleen. A Belly of Laughs. I think they get uh, swallowed by a dragon in the film. Gut to Escape. And Leaf It Out. Well... I should do the last one, but I'm not going to. I'm going to do Just in Slime, which is similar to the Goo one. I don't remember it being a slime or goo heavy film particularly. Huh. So they really went all out for the last level of the game, which is weird because I feel I feel like focus testing will tell you that no, not many people ever even make it far into a game. Well, I'm I'm done anyway. But that was that was the Page Master. Genuinely, a good game actually. Like I would, if they if this came out on like on the Switch on the SNES thing on that, I'd probably play through it because with a little bit of rewinding just to get over the annoyance of the resets and the lack of checkpoints, it, it's it's kind of worth seeing. I could make I could. Mm, on the on the few levels I played of like horror and adventure, they were a, a little bit samey. But this last fantasy one, so far two have been different, and they all sound like they'll be. Even if there's a few different aesthetics, that's that's pretty good. So um, yeah, surprisingly good game. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.